Welcome to this introductory video on the Coral System. I'm Bernard Dory, working at the Communication Research Center in Canada, and I'm going to talk about the Coral platform. Coral stands for Cognitive Radio Learning Network. It's a platform targeted for researchers, students, and companies to experiment with cognitive radio networking. It's made of software and hardware, and in this video, I'll describe these components and the general overview of the operation of this platform. The major components of the Coral system are the hardware, which can be configured either as an access point or as a client, and the software, which is the network management system, the database, and the cognitive engine. The Coral system has several unique features. Firstly, the hardware has the capability to do environmental sensing. The platform has capabilities to detect Wi-Fi interference and report it back to the network management station. It also has a spectrum analyzer card in the box to be able to sense the energy at different frequencies and also report back that information to the network management station. Secondly, the Coral platform has hardware to provide interference mitigation. Firstly, in the spatial domain, by having the capabilities to do on a packet per packet basis, to do antenna switching. So you can minimize interference to the other access points by picking a specific antenna that minimize that interference. And also has the capability in the time domain to minimize interference. These different access points can operate in a synchronized fashion so that they don't interfere as much with each other by being synchronized. Finally, the third point is the network management system that come with the Coral system. The network management station will collect the information provided by these Coral nodes and aggregate that information into a database, the REAM, the Radio Environment Access Map, and that information will be provided to a cognitive engine that will, can use this information to decide what are the optimal operation parameters for the operation of the network. And then using the API provided by the network management station, the cognitive engine can tweak the knobs on the network to get best performance by minimizing interference and optimizing bandwidth utilization. Now we're going to talk about the hardware of the system. Each Coral wireless node comes into a weatherproof box with two omnidirectional antennas and is powered by powered over Ethernet. Each wireless node can be configured through software to operate either as an access point or as a client. Let's now take a look at the inside. We have three main cards. A standard Wi-Fi router running Linux with two mini PCI cards for the 802.11G standard, one used for Wi-Fi monitoring and one used for communication. A proprietary CRC card to provide some of the unique capabilities of the system, including spatial reuse and temporal reuse. And finally, underneath a small card for the spectrum sensing. This system also comes with software that includes the network management station, the REAM database, and a sample cognitive engine. So in summary, 
the Coral platform is designed for research and development. It combines unique cognitive radio and Wi-Fi technologies. It has the hooks for bandwidth optimization and interference mitigation. It has the hooks to build a centralized control system that will optimize the operation of the network and it's available right now. For more information about the Coral system, upcoming videos and demos, and information about ordering your own system, please contact us with the information shown on the screen. Thank you very much for your attention.